is the story of Chelsea and Sean. It all began the night she talked to him, September 15th, 2007. The girl's best friend, Cayenne, introduced her to her cousin, Sean, or Sini. They hit it off great, and the way those two talked was unbelievable. They had so much in common considering his birthday was a day before hers, October 8th, 1992. Both lovable, frustrating, artistic Libras. I can't believe the day has come to make you my wife. You're the most caring, thoughtful, genuine person I know. You're always there for me when I need advice or help. You are my girl, my ride or die. I love you to infinity and beyond. I can't wait to oh, I can't wait to share our new life together and grow old with you. Forever your B. I was honored when asked to be the best man, finally forcing Sean to admit that I am the best. <laughs> no, really, Sean, I am very proud of your accomplishments in life and privileged to call you my brother. You have the biggest heart and you've always, always been there for everything. You're there to help anybody else. My B, your Nanny and Nano are going to be so proud of you. They will be smiling with joy while they make their famous biscuits and spaghetti sauce. I love you with all my heart. I can't wait to call you my husband. Chelsea, you are incredibly supportive and intuitive and always there for me and others. You're so kind, caring, thoughtful, and always thinking of others and never yourself. He was the first man I loved and for a long time I thought he would be the only man I ever loved. I'm a daddy's girl and I always will be. Growing up, I idolized my father. He is the sweetest and strongest man in the world. If he couldn't fix it, it couldn't be fixed. Now 26 years old, I still idolize my father, but I find myself loving another man. A man eerily so similar to my father. I often find myself telling Sean, okay, dad. <laughs> Thank you, dad, for teaching me how important it is to cook. Always make sure I brush my teeth before I go to bed. That slow and steady always win the race. And the most important thing you taught me is that you have to fight through some bad days to earn the best days in your life. Chelsea, I've told you multiple, multiple times, you're such a beautiful woman inside and out. And you have the sweetest soul, and I'm so, so lucky to have you as my best friend. To all our friends and family, it means the world to us to have you here tonight. Thank you for being our support system, our encouragement, and our partners in crime. For loving us through the ups and downs, for being mentors, teachers, and friends. Thank you for all the laughter you contributed to our lives. You have helped to make us who we are, and for that, we are forever grateful. Enjoy tonight.
tonight and let it be a small gift for all you have done for us. You are our favorite people in the world and we love you all. Falling for you wasn't falling at all, it was walking into a house and knowing your home. They say when you meet your soulmate, you should feel calm, no anxiety, and no agitation. You are such a gifted, strong, and caring woman. You have been my teacher, confidant, lover, and above all, my best friend. I vow to fiercely dedicate my heart to you, no matter where we are and what circumstances we are in. I will give you my heart and vow to be the best partner in life and in love. I love you to the moon and back. I really sensed in my heart that when you guys were speaking to each other, those words were like concrete. They are never going to move. Now you may kiss your beautiful bride. But Dr. Seuss said something that I think is amazing. He said, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. And I think the rain we've seen today was all those family members were crying so hard, they just could not give us sun. I pinky promise to love you unconditionally, even when you're old and gray. Your youth may fade away, but your eyes will always remind me of the time I first saw you at a Billy Talent concert. You are my best friend, and I feel so lucky to have you. I love you to infinity and beyond. I can't wait to share our new life together and grow old with you. to the moon and back, now let's effing party. <laughs> I'm so happy and proud of the two of you. I just think it's a match made in heaven. I couldn't be happier to have you, Sean, a son that we never had. Our wish for you both is a life filled with love, adventure, and chance. is a memory waiting to happen. So let's cherish this moment full of love and laughter.